Welcome to number one in the streets, your boy High Rod, the Lit Pit, in full effect on this Taco Tuesday. And uh, I got a special guest in the building, uh, the Rain and Champ Ooh. from the Rap Gang. Yeah. Taylor Rain. Tyler Rain. Tyler Rain. Tyler Rain in the booth. It's okay. See, it's all Chicago good. Chicago accent. That's it's okay. Sorry, see, that's... You, it's okay. It's good, Tyler <laughs> Rain. It's cool. <laughs> you in the building though, LA representing? Yeah, I, it's, it feels great out here. This is my first time out here. I'm ready to like do these events, see what y'all about. And then, uh, of course, show eat, you. and of course, eat some food because I hear Chicago got good food. So, so what, okay, since so we're talking about food now, what, what food are you looking forward to? What okay, you been so, hearing about? Uh, okay, so I've been hearing about the fried chicken places and whatnot, but I'm vegan, so I'm trying to figure uh, out if y'all got vegan places around here. You know what? Vegan. My sis back here, she went to a vegan restaurant. Yeah. Um, what was that? Out in, what was that, Orland? Mm-hmm. So. Vegan tea in Orland. Got you. you got veggie. See? I know y'all got veggie grill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all got veggie grill. We got, we got, daddy, they got veggie grill. Yeah, we, I think we got like two of them here. But yeah. It's a it's a lot of dope uh, restaurants. Definitely visit High Park area. They got not a lot of uh, vegan restaurants out okay, there. So, cool. Um, definitely, you need to get some pizza too. I'm hey, you see. out here? You might have <laughs> deep dish. Okay. <laughs> when my diet set up, I'm gonna have to work an extra few days hey, we in the gym. Get, we got to get. We gonna get you some chicken. I know you probably. Hey, we you just gotta take this a little piece. I can't because then my stomach going in and uh, it's gonna act up like a city girl song, and we're not finna do that. <laughs> like, uh-uh. hey, so what, what got you into? Rapping into music? Uh. Well, long story short, my family is in, I'm surrounded by music. So when I was a baby, I was surrounded by music. My dad w- toured with Britney Spears, wow. uh, Charlie Wilson, Sunshine Anderson, okay, wrote with Macy Gray, New Edition, BBD. My mom danced for Mary J. Blige next. So I was pretty much like around music. And I kind of just like, yes. it was in me. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over here, man. Oh. It was in me. And at the age of eight, I will never forget, Willow Smith came out with Whip My Hair. And I was like, I can do that. And then I told my parents, I want to be in the music industry at eight. And they was like, you're going to have to show me. Like, we're not going to so put you in because it takes, it takes hard work. It takes money and it takes time and it takes dedication. And I, they wanted to make sure like there wasn't like a phase. And I showed them and I was like, okay, look, this is what I want to do. So I recorded my first song at 12 called Rain on Hollywood. And they, they, they was like, okay, you kind of good. You good or whatever. So, so did they coach you? Like, did they teach um, you how to, or like how? They, I was, yeah, they taught me. They taught okay. me the ins and outs of it. My mom helped me with my writing, finding my voice. My dad helped me too. So it was just like, they knew like what the ins and outs were. So they taught me and I just, I fell in love with it. I fell more in love with it. Like it was just like, it was just in me. Like I would wake up dancing, singing Beyonce, singing Rihanna, rapping and whatnot. And it was just, they were annoyed because I would do it every single day. So once I showed them like, this is what I really want to do. Was you doing the, uh, since you said Willow Smith that with my hair? Was you doing that dance? Was- I actually had a I have a video up on YouTube. It's like more than a million views on it, and I was dancing with my hair. God, so yeah. Willow Smith was the reason why you partly. Yeah, she was the reason. <laughs> my parents and my love for it was the reason because okay. I wake up every day listening to music. I be in school just singing and rapping, so it was just like it was just. And what were some of the songs that like just stuck out to you? Like you know, as a kid, you have the memories of like this. Like for me, for example, my dad. Uh, my dad just passed away, but oh. um, with me going to school, I used to always he used to always play Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Gangsta Party, mm-hmm. or Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. It was my two favorite songs. What was the songs that your parents did, did just stick in your head? Like, see, my pa- I, I, I listen to old school music, so it was like the New Editions and the Donny Hathaways, and oh, you, you know Anita old. Baker, like you, you know. So it was like that. I didn't like. <laughs> It was more of that. So the Biggies, the Tupacs, of course, because I'm from the West Coast. So it was just like, yeah. it was a whole mixture. It was like a mixture of music. Oh, dope. Yeah. And uh, the uh, the rap game, Jermaine Dupree. Yes, the rap game. That, <laughs> hey, I, I got to hey, shout you out. Um, Thank definitely, you. that's super lit. Uh, Thank my you. sister, Nia K, was on one of yes, the shows. Yes, Nia. Um, She's dope. I love her. Yeah. She's dope. How, how has that changed your life since, like, being on a rap game. Ooh, uh, and of course, gave me more exposure. Everybody was like, oh, who's this little girl from L.A.? And I was, I got a chance to show them, like, okay, this is my talent, and this is what yeah. I do. So I got a chance to show, like, okay, I'm a female rapper. And after coming off the show and just being on the show, period, it helped my writing. It helped my artistry some more. It helped the creative part side of me. Yeah. And coming off, I got more opportunities from it, like more TV shows. 
<clears throat> Spinoff coming soon. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Watch out. I'm coming back on TV. Period. Hello. But, um, Wait, yeah. We got, we're going to talk about this. Wait, what's this? You got to spill the beans now. What's this TV show? <laughs> It's a spinoff. That's all I can it's say. A of- I, it's in a it's it's in pre production at the moment, okay. but you know I'm doing a little filming at the moment, so <laughs> it's coming out soon. Is uh can anybody involved with it? It's all you. Um, it's actually hmm, let me try to give information without giving information. It's it's about because you know nobody we as this generation don't have a TV show that we can look up to like that. Like, of course, we got the love and hip hops and all of that, but we need something for us. Yeah, like, for back then, it was like, that's so Raven, Proud Family. We need nice. something now. So this is like, this is like showing that, you know, we can do it too. Like, y'all can do it. If, you, if y'all see somebody else doing it, maybe we'll give y'all the inspiration to do it as well. It's featuring me and a couple of other my friends who are also in the music industry, mm. who also sing, rap, do something that has to do with the music industry. So it's showing different lives okay. of music industry business and showing that there's more. We're also entrepreneurs. We're also teenagers. Like, you get to see, like, the flip side. Oh. Oh, so is that, this is pretty much going to tell you your, your background story yes. of how you got into the game. How I got and, into it, what happened after rap game, it's all, all that. Yeah, because I know a lot of people always ask, like, what happened to the rap game kids and all that life? Yeah. Like, well, number, what they doing and all yeah, that. Yeah, you just got to have a team. If you don't got a team, it ain't going to work. You got to have a team because you got to take advantage of this platform. Every mm-hmm. Wednesday or Thursday, our season was Thursdays, yeah. you're in front of three million people. So you need to take advantage of it. Do what you got to do. And that's what me and my team did. We took advantage of three million people and being on TV, and we ran with it. We was Usain Bolt. Like, <laughs> we ran. And how was Jermaine Dupree? Uh, like, this, that's a legend. He's he was amazing. The, the chance that we, the time that we had to like spend time with him on the show and thing, he gave us some really, really good, really good advice. He's he's such a he. It was I was starstruck. I was like, whoa. I was like, that's Jermaine Dupri. Like, I watched the other four episodes, all the four seasons, and I'm like, okay, I'm standing right here in front of Jermaine Dupri. So it was really cool being, you know, in the same atmosphere with JD. That's super dope. Man. Yeah. Other guests, did you get a chance to meet Bow Wow, the Brad? I got a chance to meet Bow Wow behind the scenes. I met Rhapsody, Lil Jon, um, Killer Mike. I met. Uh, Who was your favorite? Rhapsody. Rhapsody was my Rhapsody was my favorite. Like, Did she give you any advice? Yeah, she helped me on my performing. It was just like more tips, like okay, when you perform, you know, speak to one area, then go to the next one. It was just you know some key points. But I love Rhapsody. I love. It was fun. It was fun. I was starstruck when I met Will I Am because he's Black Eyed Peas, Apple. Blah, blah, blah. He's all that. So I was like, <laughs> whoa! The little kid in me came out. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, it was fun being on rap game. And you named a lot of artists, and you know what's trending right now is top fifty. Top fives. You got a top five. I got a top five for real. Number one, Tyler Rain. Number two, Missy Elliott, of course. I love Missy Elliott. Number three, Rihanna. Number four, Rico Nasty. I'm going to throw Yo-Yo in there. Uh, MC Light. Um, mm. It's a lot. Rihanna, I just said Rihanna, but you know, it's a whole <laughs> bunch. Twice. Kalani, <laughs> like, yeah, it's a whole lot. I could go on and on by my list, but that's, I'm not going to. Okay. That's going to be a long time. <laughs> Oh, we got to get a V. Simone in here. <laughs> I see you a V. Simone fan. Yes, I am. No, that's super lit. Hey, you in town. You in Chicago. Yeah. Like you say, your first time. Yes. But you here for a dope reason. I am. P.O.P. Yes. The- How did you become a pop ambassador? On the show, um, I did a song called Put the Guns Down for one of the episodes. I forgot which episode it was. I think it was episode seven. We had to create a viral video off of a topic that's going on in your city. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I recently, uh, at the time, I lost a fr- good friend of mine. His name was Lil Beezy. And, and we lost him to gun violence on Mother's Day. So that happened while I was in the house. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do a song called Put the Guns Down. And... They reached out and was like, hey, I love what she did on Rap Game. And I was like, of course I would love to be an ambassador for that. Like, what? Yeah. Like, if I could share my story and share, like, some positive energy, then I'm going to do that. So I'm proud and I'm excited. Super excited. Yeah, this this generation is... We need it. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm glad for somebody your age Thank to you. really be, you know, yeah. ambassador and use your platform for, for Got this. Got to. Yeah, this is super dope. And tomorrow you really... I mean, I, I know, we you know, what goes on in your city, right. L.A., but, you know, being out here in Chicago, I know you yeah. out for the whole week, uh, Chicago, Indianapolis, Nebulous. Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Like, you really going to see it. You're yeah. going to see it 
throughout this life. Yeah, where, and like, I feel like I feel like we need that. Not just yeah. in like my city, but in every city, every country. Yeah. Like we need something that's gonna be like, okay, we got we gotta stop. So I'm here to spread that message, share my story, share some tunes with you to <laughs> forget about it, but you know, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. In the tunes, you mm-hmm. got a new single? I got a new single called Yeah, I got a new single called Petty, got some, you know, some stuff in the mix, Rain on Hollywood, you know, it's it's coming together. It's coming together. It's coming it's coming right. in full we, circle. You got a project coming out? I do have a project coming out very, very soon, top yeah. of next year. Is it an album or is it It's an EP. EP? Okay. Yeah. All right. And it's all you. Just, it's all me. I like that. All I me. I like that. Show the world you first before you put somebody else on it. <laughs> Preach. Hello. Hey, hey, hallelujah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Big Brother told me I can put you on the spot. So, um, I'm going to test you, warm you up a little bit. Um, can I get a couple bars up out you? Can we, can we get some, some, some... Of course you can. Who damn want to contest? None of y'all can see me like a nun when she undressed. And when I drop a hit the press like a bad mood, shorty with an attitude. I know I'm fly, check my longitude and latitude. You're talking out your neck, you lose a clavicle. Now you got a shoulder lean. You could play a zombie in the movie if the cast is you. When the bit is drama, I'm an actress too. I act the fool. Oh, God. My money longer than a hundred centipedes. A hundred enemies. I got the energy for any kind of beefy girls. In seven days, you all a week. I'm nowhere near my peak. You cackin' like a bird. You need a beat, but don't you ever speak, huh? I breathe on a asthmatic, floratic, need a jacket, and I dare someone to strap it. You girls are all ratchet. About the fourth to quit the racket. If you're looking for a tip, go back to strip and quit the rapping. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, the wife the nose. Yeah, the wife the nose. I don't know what else to say. You know what's the you made me sweat a little bit. I mean, my, my lace front lifting a little bit after that one. I mean, whoo, gotta. You just gotta, went out. Yeah, some little slight. I told you it's gonna be some slight. That ain't slight. That's 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 <laughs> that's straight fire right there. You Thank like, you. Appreciate it. Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen yesterday. Oh, happy belated. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, all right, so yeah. we, need, we need to really, like, we got to show off for you in Chicago. We got to do something special. I got to bring mean, a cupcake or something tomorrow. Oh, uh, don't, yeah. don't make me cry. Don't do that uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> you from L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> what's, some, uh, what's some other people in L.A. that you look up to? Um, Mainly Yo-Yo, because that's my auntie, of course. That's yeah. She actually crowned me the princess of the West Coast. And, you know, she's the queen of the West Coast. Yeah. So getting that stamp from her was very important. Um, I love you, Yo-Yo, if you're listening. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. Put me on your new single, Out of Control. Just taking me underneath your wing and really believing in me. Because she, like, when she saw me, she was like, I see me in you. And mm. I was just like, well, that's 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 crazy because this, this, I'm standing in front of Yo-Yo. Like, what? Like, she tells me, like, I see myself in you and then crowns me at the Obama street ceremony. This is the princess of the West Coast. I'm passing the torch. Wow. What? Like. Wow. But, yeah, it's mainly Yo-Yo. So, I love you, Yo-Yo. Thank you so much. That's super dope. Now you're in, the, Yo-Yo. you're in the city now. You're in Chicago. Yeah. What's some artists that you listen to out of Chicago? Oh. Uh, um, I listen to Chance the Rapper. That's pretty much. I mean, dope. yeah, that's pretty much Chance the Rapper. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's Chance. Dope. Chance. Chance is hard. Chance is super hard. Chance is super dope. What about females like Dreezy? Oh, I love Tink. Dreezy. Dreezy, she's so underrated. Like, she's, yeah, she in her time, she, she's underrated, and <sighs> Dreezy needs to get the respect that she deserves. She gonna oh, she oh like she gonna, she I'm gonna, gonna ride yeah. for Dreezy because that, that's, that's sus. she gonna she gonna definitely get it yeah so I rock with sus heavy uh you know I rock with the whole the whole city heavy yeah and especially up and come artists like yourself yeah so thank you thank I'm you and I'm linking excited. with Nia K she's dope too so shout you to gonna Nia. link with her. Quit. I'm here city, so of course I got a link with Nia. Yeah, I mean, what? she should come out to this POP event. Come on, I should link so up with Nia. So we have to put that out there you in know, the atmosphere. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> you put it out, it's going to flourish. You never know. Who else you trying to meet out here? Well, you, <laughs> we, we, we can put it out here in the city. <laughs> we can put it out here, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just wanting to, I mean, I'm ready to meet everybody out here. Like, I'm That's ready up. to just meet any and everybody. Any work you going to do in the city uh, while you out here? Any studio sessions or anybody? <laughs> yup. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be in the studio with Nia. You know, gotta right, be in the studio go. with Nia. I, was, I don't know, but you know, God got the inside scoop. I'm being in the studio with Nia. Okay, so, so yeah. we, we expecting a single from you and Nia. I mean, you know, yeah. All I need to hear that. Sounds uh, like with y'all, the long y'all bring the single back here and uh-huh. we premiere it. Of course, and we do it. And it's not gonna be your last time in Chicago. Oh no, no, it's not. No, it's not. That's all I need to hear. I'm gonna be back some more. That's all I need to hear. Yeah. Um, you got so many kids. Like I was telling, I was telling Big Bro. Um. So many kids gonna be like about three to five thousand kids. Tomorrow. I'm excited. What's something that you could tell them 
like just a you know about gun violence and everything that you would you know you experience um I just need to tell them that it, it just needs to stop. Like, we're losing lives, no matter how old we are. Nine, ten, two, three. Like, mm-hmm. we just need to we need to get it together, and we need to get it under control and under wraps, because we need to be here. We don't need to be passing them at the age of 17. Like, we got a whole we got a whole bunch of gears ahead of us. Like, come on Thanks. now. We can do better than this. Like, we the, gen, we, the, we the generation that the other generation's finna look up to, so we need to set an example on what, what not to do and what to do. And what we not need to do is gun violence. That's the... That's a nah. That's a dub. Big old dub. That's big facts too. That's big. And stay in school, guys. Yes. School's important. Yes. I just graduated, so stay in school. And I know we, I know y'all experienced. I, we were just talking about it off air. I know y'all experienced um, strikes. Yes, we did. My and, brother couldn't go to school for a minute. And we're experiencing that right now. That's so crazy. I I would like to ask, like, how do you feel about you know, you know, teachers want to you know they they need to get certain stuff in school. They yeah. need they need stuff, uh, but students being out of school like I feel like students being out of school that that's I mean I can't tell people what to do with their lives yeah. I'm gonna just talk but I hope nobody don't take offense but we need school like you need a degree to flip a burger at McDonald's and Burger King now so if you want to be anything in life you need school school is yeah. very important no matter how much you hate it there's been times when I sat at my computer and cried but I remembered the bigger goal like I need school I need math I need yeah. so I need all this stuff so I just feel like everybody needs to stay in school like there's no reason to skip school and if you're skipping school come back to school sometimes please just, please. please y'all here definitely stay in school uh, teachers again we hope y'all get everything y'all need so we can have these kids yes. back in school um, man I appreciate you uh, on this show Thank you so much For uh, having me Being one of your First interviews in Chicago Period uh, And it's not the last one <laughs> Hey Hello. thank you Cause we gonna do A whole takeover Next time you come With your EP Tuh. We playing the whole thing Tuh. I'm telling you right now On, <laughs> on, on October 22nd 2019 yep. When you yep. come back We We taking over It's a bet that's T-Rain it. takeover that, that's, 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 that's what the yeah, fire that's, Ain't gonna say And we gonna get it. Some of these And we gonna <laughs> Be like T-Rain takeover Come on now Let's do it yeah. Tomorrow we in this thing Tell everybody Where you gonna be at tomorrow I am going to be at the New Beginners Church of Chicago for the event for the Youth Violence Prevention and Leadership. Make sure y'all come out from 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. That's Friday. That's Friday. And then tomorrow you're going to be out in Gary. Be, yep. we, tomorrow we're going to be in Gary. See, y'all need to let me know. Like, <laughs> what? I'm just sitting right here looking here. But I'm being in Gary. Make sure y'all pull up. Come meet the Tyler Ray. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to give y'all some positive energy. Listen to music. We're going to have fun. I'm a very fun person, so I'm gonna make sure y'all y'all energy's turned. Come on now. And then can we get some pictures from you? Of course you can. Oh, get yeah, pictures from me. Yes, y'all hear it. We, yes. We, we selfie in and out. Selfies, videos, anything. I follow back too. Oh. I'm that person. <laughs> there we go. Hey, they gonna follow you. They gonna follow you. And I they feel. all gonna get a follow back. That's what it is. I appreciate you again. Run the social media for everybody so they can follow you. It's your girl, Tyler Ray, a.k.a. The Princess of Trill, a.k.a. The Princess of the West Coast. You can follow me on all my social media, literally, at R-E-I-G-N-T-Y-E-L-E-R. That's Rain Tyler. Make sure y'all go get that single petty. Make sure you get my shoes from Vlado Footwear called Ooh. the Team Rain Ones and the Cleos and the Slides. Available at Macy's right now. <laughs> and use my code <laughs> Rain Gang for 10% off at www.vladofootwear.com. I love her. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) That's what it is, man. It's your boy, Howard, right here on Power 92.